Stadia. Today, I would like to present the proposal of my thesis, and the, the topic of my presentation is a study on students' perceptions of motivation, satisfaction, and anxiety of learning college tours in English, and the needs analysis of English for hotel tourism. And here's the content of my presentation, which includes introduction, literature review, methodology, and the final part is the suggestions from committee members. Okay, here comes the introduction. For the first part, I will explain the breakdown and the motivation, then point out the statement of problems, and following up purposes of the study, and research questions and the definition of terms will be finally introduced. Okay. Uh, here comes the background. Uh, since international tourism has become commonplace, layer for cross-cultural communication has been emphasized. And meanwhile, in 2003, Miller and Hara mentioned that international travel is a rapid, uh, rapidly growing activity, entailing cross-cultural communication between hosts and guests from different linguistic backgrounds. And also, uh, uh, English has been regard uh, in order to provide better services with foreign visitors, a proficient language is required, and the English has been regarded as the most important language. So, therefore, friendly use of English is the key to assuring the success of the hotel service to international visitors. And here comes the motivation of the study. Uh, is, let's take a look at this table, uh, which adopted from six colleges, which are Donghai University, Providence University, and National Chinese University of Technology, and the Chaoyang University, Hong Kong University, and the final one is the National Taizong Institute of Technology. Uh, from this table, we can see that most of colleges have asked the students to take tourism in English before students' graduation. Uh, however, uh, we can see um, there is an exception for China University and the National Title Institute of Technology because courses there are optional. And moreover, students take six to eight credit hours of general English. So we can see that um, students have been trained their tourism English at colleges. However, there is a doubt that they do not perform well as expected. So it seems there is a gap between English needs of hotel industry and the English training of college students. So uh, the researcher would like to investigate where college students' English skills are prepared to meet the industrial needs and are well prepared for their future jobs. And the second purpose is to investigate whether industrial employers are satisfied with college students' English competence and knowledge to world tourism. And based on the purposes, there are four research questions regarding study. The first, what's the required competent, uh, English competence and knowledge to serve hotel tourism? And how do college students perceive their tourism English learning? And the next one, how do college students perceive their satisfaction with tourism English learned from their problems? And what factors motivate college students to learn tourism English? And now I'm going to introduce the definition of terms for the first one, tourism English, which refers to language and communication for hotels, restaurants, and catering transportations, tours, ticketing, and itineraries, reported facilities, and various supported retail services, as well as handing money, giving, or dealing with companies. And for ESP, According to other events in 1997, ESP may be related to or designed for specific dis disciplines, and ESP may use in specific teaching situations a different methodology from that of general English. And for the next one, foreign language anxiety. Language anxiety is a fear or apprehension that occurs when a learner is expected to use the second language. And here's the online or literature review, which includes these sessions. First, importance of tourism English in Taiwan, then the acquired English competence for future job, and uh, the benefit of internship program at colleges will also be reviewed. And then following our satisfaction with the environment support and the learning motivation in tourism English. And the final part is about the EFL anxiety. Okay, uh, for 
importance of tourism English in Taiwan. Uh, according to Nazar and Matter in 2004, English is often used for business and visitors to interlinked people who have different mother tongues because of its nature of globalization. And uh, about acquired English competence for future job, in 2008, Leiter and Kashara mentioned that fluency in communication in English with foreign customers is a basic required skill for employees working at international hotels. Therefore, misunderstandings and complaints may arise if there is a lack of effective communication between the frontline staff and the visitors. And about essential training in internship programs at colleges, uh, in recent years, students of tourism department are given an opportunity to have an internship at hotels or restaurants. So what's the benefit about this? According to Leather uh, and Matter uh, in 2004, having good working relationship with the local industry, that will be beneficial to the students to be greatly competitive for the local workforce. And about the satisfaction with the environment support, uh, based on the literature review, there are two components of learning environment that are often absent in the learning context in Taiwan. The first one is about authentic interaction. And in 2002, Penny and Whitney stressed that authentic interaction with the native speakers is unavailable for most of Taiwanese students. And second, a learning environment which will benefit student learning is needed. And about a learning motivation in tourism in English. And in order to meet the important expectation of a proficient language skill, therefore students stand a better chance of securing a good job at hotels if they are free to use in tourism English. And also, uh, Tourism English proficiency is a basic requirement at workplace because tourism industry often set high demands on language skill, which mentioned by Leisure and Leisure and Kashara. And for most of Taiwanese students, foreign language anxiety is one of the problems of their English learning. And uh, communication uh, apprehension is one of the elements of foreign language anxiety. And in 2000, Kumins mentioned that Communication apprehension can increase the chance of a certain situation related to foreign language learning, and it may reduce individual's level of self-efficacy in succeeding for learning languages. And uh, from Pablo Mills research, it was found that students anticipated some international anxiety when some students use English better than they did, and uh, teachers spoke well. And now I'm going to introduce the methodology. The first, uh, I will explain the framework of research design and who are the participants of the study and what kind of instrument will be provided for this study. Later, I will explain the procedure and the method of data analysis. Uh, this study is aimed to explore students' perception about tourism English learning at colleges. So a survey researcher will 